YouTube, what is up? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's DTV, and I'm back with another banger. And today, we're going to be checking out more from the homie Fluffy. Man, a lot of y'all were telling me to check this one out because the tables have turned, and he got his own racist basket. But before we go any further, I need you to do me a solid. If you could drop a like and a comment on this video for the algorithm, I would greatly appreciate it because we are on the road to 100,000 subscribers, and we almost there. But I need your help. So if you're watching my content, enjoying my content, but you're not part of the family yet, we got to change that. So go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Turn post notifications on. Set them to all so that you don't miss a thing. But yo, y'all ready for this one? Let's run it, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. Before you know it, people started bringing me Mexican racist gift baskets. Oh, shit. Now, when it first started happening, listen, guys, I'm not going to lie. It was actually kind of cute because it was only other Mexicans bringing me these quote unquote Mexican racist gift baskets. It started in L.A. after a show. This one guy walks up to me with a basket and he's like, hey, what's up, homie? Got your racist gift basket. I said, we're the same race. Yeah, whatever. All right, whatever. <laughs> I take it backstage and all the items in the basket made it to my house. There was a Mexican blanket with a tiger on it, a bunch of Damn. bottles of Fanta, bottles of sangria, Vicente Fernandez CDs, Mexican candy, pan dulce, sweet bread, mazapanes. Everything made it to Holy my house. Holy shit, okay. Now, the more East Coast we started traveling and the more down South we started performing, the more... It got bad, didn't it? It got bad, didn't the it? The basket started getting. Fast forward to Mobile, Alabama. 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 All right. All right. Let's see. Let's, let's see what happened to Fluffy there, man. Oh, it gets good. <laughs> Earlier tonight, before we kicked off this special, my friend Martin was out here making a couple of announcements. One of the announcements that he made was, if you brought a gift... Please hold on to it until after the show. Don't bring it to the stage. It could interrupt the flow of the performance. The only reason why he makes this announcement every single night is because of one show in Mobile. Oh, so here's shit. What happens. I tell the entire racist gift basket story, the full 16 minutes, right? As soon as I finish, a guy from the back of the theater rushes the front of the stage. Now, keep in mind, this area is full. In Mobile, the aisle was right up the middle. So the guy had a clean shot to me. He hauled ass like it was the prize is right, all the way down. <laughs> <laughs> Much like tonight, there was security oh, there that shit. night. Security sees the guy with the basket, but no one thought to stop him. <laughs> all they did was, that's pretty. <laughs> oh, that's, that's pretty, yeah. So the guy makes it all the way to the front. He takes the gift basket and he puts it on the stage. Now he's heckling me from where you're sitting. I'm standing here and he's like, Fluffy! What's up, dude? I got this for you. Thank you. Open it. I go, sir, we're kind of in the middle of a show right now. I says, I appreciate the <laughs> gift. That's very nice of you. I says, but uh, how about this? I'll, I'll open it after the show. Oh, come on, Fluffy. I want to see your face. Um, sir, how about this? How about you take the gift basket and you bring it over here to the side of the stage where security's at and I'll have security escort you behind the curtain and then I'll open it up backstage with you in front of me. How's that? That's a deal. That's some VIP shit, bro. That's some VIP shit. Come to the back with the gift, with security, and I'll open it in front. Bro, come on. That's a deal. That's I'll a deal. i security escort you behind the curtain and then I'll open it up backstage with you in front of me. How's that? And he's not taking no for an answer. Now, the problem is the crowd just saw me tell the racist gift basket story. And all of a sudden, there's a guy with a gift basket. They have no idea I'm not affiliated with freaking Duck Dynasty in the front row. <laughs> Duck Dynasty? So now oh, I'm trying shit. to defuse the situation before it gets crazy. But he's not taking no for an answer. Next thing you know, he does something no other audience member has ever done in my 19 plus years as a comedian. He takes the whole crowd away from me, flips them, and then uses them on me in five seconds. It was the most amazing, horrific thing I have ever witnessed. <laughs> oh, shit. This is all he did. Come on, Fluffy! 
We want to see your face. We want to see your face. We want to see your face. <laughs> 2,000 people behind him to start chanting. We oh, shit. We want to see your face. We want to see your face. It was very evident this was not the first rally he's ever led. <laughs> Oh, the crowd shit. is so loud, I can no longer hear myself over the monitor. So I'm like, I lost. So I get on my hands and knees, I put the microphone down, I grab the gift basket, and I start tearing it open. I reach in. Forget about pulling out Mexican soda, Mexican candy, or a Mexican blanket. This dude was a pro. What was it? I started it? pulling out gardening tools. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. I'm pulling That's out a grimy. Rag, a toy shovel, a toy leaf blower. Dig deeper, Fluffy, dig deeper. I pull out a soccer ball. I go, dude, it says Puerto Rico. They ran out of Mexico. <laughs> I pull out a brick. I go, what's the brick for? The wall. Oh. I pull out an actual application for U.S. citizenship. I That's said, grimy. No way this can get any worse. Dig deeper. I was wrong. <laughs> I pull out an old school box of Crayola crayons. You know the 64 pack that has a sharpener in the back? Hell yeah. Okay. There's a window on the front of the crayon so you can see all of the colors that are in the box. All of the crayons in the box are brown except for one white crayon right in the middle. And I said, what the hell is that supposed to mean? And he looks at me and he says, welcome to my world. Oh, shit. The crowd is laughing so hard. I know for a fact, I don't have a joke that's gonna follow that. So I made it seem like that was the end of my performance. I picked up the gift basket. I said, thank you, Mobile. And I gave the guy a dirty look. Motherfucker. <laughs> Oh shit, yo, that was, that was wild. Homie like legitimately just hijacked the show. That was ridiculous, man. Sound off in the comments below. Let me know your thought with the tables turning on. Gabriel Iglesias, man. The story of Gabriel Iglesias and the racist gift basket. Let me know what is next from Gabriel that you want me to check out that I haven't checked out yet. And I get to it ASA. P. But yo, I'm gonna end this video right here. If you made it to the very end, you're the real MVP, baby. No cap. If you enjoyed this video, y'all know what to do. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, gang. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Peace.